Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, well, we're gonna be talking about the weather. I know. As I'm talking about the weather, I'm taking out the trash, as you guys can see. So it's Monday morning for anyone out there that doesn't know what's up, so we gotta put the trash out here. Alright. Stay, stay. All right, and uh, the trash guy will come by in a little bit. Let me just make sure I close the door and we're on our way out of here. Now, today, we're talking about, we're gonna be talking about the weather and we're gonna be talking about bugs. Now, honestly, the reason we're kind of talking about the weather, first of all, it's crazy hot and humid right now. Um, it's the end of July. Um, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to the weather, so I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? That's number one. Number two, the real reason we're talking about the weather today um, is simply because um, I'm on my way to a centro to go pick up some stuff, and um, I don't have anything to talk about in a weird way. I mean, I do. I have, like, a bunch of things that I wanted to, you know, always want to talk about, but, you know, today um, I'm leaving the house in a little bit of a hurry because I'm going to meet somebody in the centro tambien you know as well so tambien word of the day means as well uh, tambien means also um but anyways <laughs> i digress um i'm on my way down there to go just pick up a few things that i need to pick up and i was just like well i gotta talk about something talk about something and so you already know the deal when you guys are out there you know trying to do small talk or have any kind of conversation with anybody um one of the conversation starters that you know usually comes up you know arises or comes about when there's nothing to talk about is the weather so i was like you know what i usually always have this in the back of my mind you know sometimes when um, i'm trying to figure out what the fuck i'm going to talk about but i think today was a great day to bust out this topic and i'm going to tell you why it's again because it's so hot and humid and um every day has been a little weird when it comes to the weather some days uh you know I'll i know right now like in europe and in the u.s they li literally you guys are going through like these crazy heat waves you know in the hundreds you know up in the hundreds or in the 40 degree plus you know depending if you're celsius or fahrenheit and um so I'm, I'm fully aware of that and then even though it's hot as hell out here it's not as hot you know what i mean it's just not as hot as uh as um I don't know as, as, as it should be um, but we're gonna talk about you know the months and we're gonna go through the seasons and we're gonna go through all that and another thing that we're, we're gonna be talking about is bugs because it's a lot of you guys that asked me about the bug situation out here and what is it what is it like you know what's the whole bug situation out here like and all that so you know we're just gonna touch up on all that a little bit because these are important topics and inquiring minds want to know so that's what we're going to be talking about so let's just start off with the weather the weather out here it all just depends on who you are where you're from what you're looking for when it comes to the weather but when it comes to the weather that's, he's honking you know people love the camera out here man it just makes it easier to film and do what i do Especially when people are literally honking at you and waving because they want to be on camera. Or, you know, as you guys see all the time, you know, you guys see people throwing themselves in front of the camera. But hey, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the weather. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Hola, mucho gusto. Hola, hola, buenos días. So, when it comes to the weather, like I said, it all just depends on who you are. Um, I, myself, am originally from, from Miami, Florida. I'm from... You know from uh from the swamp there's a lot of heat there's a lot of humidity it's a lot of things like that where i come from so you know moving to a, moving to a place like this it's not much of a change in fact it's more like a welcome change in the sense of like i'm already used to this kind of weather or i have been used to i mean i grew up in this weather and when i go visit miami um which I, you know i do from time to time to go visit family renew my visa even if it's just for a couple days um regardless man you know i get smacked in the face by that heat by that humidity immediately and it's like i get reminded that you know no matter how hot it is here where i am it's hotter it's hotter you know i've been to places that are hotter aka miami i've lived in vegas you know the desert you know you can't get you know you can get 
pretty hot. I've been through places like Phoenix, you know, it's like sometimes this shit, you know, measures 125 or higher on the on, on the Fahrenheit scale, which is insane, but it happens. And so on and so forth. So, you know, out here, it's a lot of heat. Don't get me wrong. And then there's humidity. And that's that's you know, that's usually when uh, when it starts getting really crazy hot. That's you know, that's what makes Florida so horrible. You know, the fact that it's not just hot, but it's just the, the humidity that's like a thousand degrees or a thousand percent all the fucking time. But out here, um, the humidity comes and goes, which is great. But see, look, right now, there's a lot of humidity. And so there's a lot of humidity, there's not much rain, and so therefore it's pure hell. Now, if you come back, like if, if you're here like around May, like around springtime, you know, during the springtime, well, during the spring, you know, the, during the springtime, it's, um, it's extremely crazy hot. And not at the beginning of spring, but like around the May, air, May, to, you know, around May. Why? Because there's no rain. There's absolutely no rain. But you know what? And, and so, and so, oh yeah, sorry. Let me let me finish that thought. So, since you know there's no rain, um, everything around here is like I don't know. It's like the sedimentary rock. It's all like rock, rock. It's not limestone. It's not coral. It's not any of these things. It's fucking just rock. I don't know what kind of rock it is, but it's rock. And so, if there's no rain, it just absorbs and absorbs and absorbs the heat. And uh, yeah, you know, it gets to the point where the longer it goes without raining just the hotter it gets no matter what there's no mercy but the one cool thing about it is that as soon as it does rain it cools down you know unlike other places like if you're from the swamp whether it's florida or louisiana or anywhere out there where usually what happens is that when it rains it just gets worse it gets hotter it gets you know even more humid even more unbearable so here not so much here when it rains 90 percent of the time it cools down a lot 90 percent of the time it really cools down a lot and so that's that's a really 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 good uh really good thing about uh you know being out here and the rain and all that stuff but right now let's just go through the seasons real quick all right let's go through the months okay so i think i think we should start off with uh winter because um, I feel like winter might be, you know, one of the months you guys might be most interested in. I think you guys are interested in all the months. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's start off with winter. And um, so winter, as you guys already know, starts off around, uh, yeah, you already know me and my paranoid ass world. I can't have, <laughs> and I'm already the fastest walking guy. So, all right, all right, stay on topic here. So anyway, so winter, um, which I would I would say starts around you know fall or winter, which around starts around uh, I don't know um, what October, give or take. So like around you know the beginning of winter, right? Let's just start with winter. Like the beginning of winter is, is just nice. It starts cooling down. It just does. Now of course it's not going to be cooling down like uh, other places around you know the Earth where literally you see the seasons change dramatically and things like that. You know, this is more like Florida where just things don't change. You know what I mean? Like it's just, you know, kind of like a, a different version of summer as the year goes on, but things do change. So around, uh, around winter time, um, again, it's nice and dry. There's absolutely zero um, weather. <laughs> There's absolutely zero um, rain or zero, you know, um, you know, kind of like um, just harsh weather or anything like that. But then all of a sudden, on top of that, it just the whole everything cools down. I don't know if it's like the winter, um, what is it like? Uh, what do you call those jet streams or whatever the hell those things come from from Alaska and come all the way down? Anyways, the point is, is that it cools down. All right, so like it actually cools down now. So what do I mean by cool down? Well. I don't know too much about the Celsius, whatever, but let's just go with Fahrenheit. It cools down to the point where during the day, you're probably gonna get like 80, 85 degrees, give or take, maybe 90, maybe, but that'd be pushing it. And then when it comes to nighttime, you know, you're looking at California weather, meaning that it's in the 70s. You might even get lucky and get to like 65 or 69, whatever, you know, that's, that's cool. In fact, it's so fucking cool, it cools down so much 
to the point where it's um you know you can literally sleep with your windows open and just your fan and you're nice and cool it's really it's really really in, in, in interesting because uh the only other place that you know was like that was when i was living in the desert you know meaning that when you're living you know when you're living in the desert it's like a billion degrees during the day and then it's like negative three at night so there's like something like that that happens here where it cools down at night it's it really does so again you know there's a lot of places out there where it's nighttime and it's like 90 95 degrees you know pure fucking heat and humidity pure hell you know the hot summer steamy nights yeah that's miami you know all day every day but not not so much out here it happens but more towards the summer so out here you know what really you know um what ends up happening during the winter is that you actually kind of get like a semblance of winter you know every once in a while you'll get this like in hot weather climates but here it seems to happen all the time it's like a normal thing i ask around and it actually cools down you can wear a sweater it's not again you know it's not freezing you know there ain't gonna be no snow or anything like that but it's definitely not you know it's definitely not like you know crazy fucking hot you can definitely tell that you're winter you're in, you're in winter now moving on to spring when you move on to spring all of a sudden it starts getting warm it starts getting hot it starts becoming a regular thing a lot of fucking noise man it starts yeah sorry i just want to make sure i don't get run over here so it starts getting it starts getting hot it starts getting warm but there's no rain so all of a sudden as uh spring starts coming along you know it starts warming up gradually every single day it's a little warmer than the next and uh, you start expecting rain and there's no rain and eventually you get to like around may and you're fucking dying you're 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 death it's like fucking death out there why is that because again there's absolutely no rain what we described before where it's just the the, the pounding heat you know and, and all this rock all around you is just constantly um constantly absorbing all that heat and there's no release of that heat until it rains which again doesn't come until summertime which is where we're at now and usually during summertime who's calling me hey sorry about that i hate when some fucking you know I, I, you get advertising calls out here too hold on a sec come on come on stupid phone all right doing good yeah sorry sorry i was just checking if somebody was texting me remember i had to meet somebody on the center and who is this somebody it's my girlfriend you know just wanted to let you guys know anyway so i'm always uh messing with you guys all right so where was i so during the summer um during the summer then all of a sudden it's summer it's fucking crazy fucking hot but one of the cool things about it is the fact that it starts to rain Oh look, this place right here. I follow them on, on Instagram. I gotta go in here. I'm in a hurry right now. I can't stop, but I gotta stop in here one of these days. They have a bunch of really cool stuff. I mean, again, just from following them on Instagram, um, it seems like a really, really cool store, you know? So, look, that's like the mascot right there. <laughs> but anyways, I gotta come check them out one of these days. All right, um, so when it comes to like the summer, you know all of a sudden what happens is is like the heat you know all that insane heat you know um hold on let me just text somebody all that freaking insane heat from the summer um you know obviously just keeps getting worse and worse you know from the may month you know what i mean um it just keeps getting worse and worse but what happens is is that like at some point you know it starts to rain so usually like around the beginning of june or the end of june or like some point in june we got rain so what happens every single day you get like that crazy sweltering heat that you're getting because it's summer and you're living out here in fucking paradise um but you get that rain at the end of the day every single day well every single day all of a sudden you get rain so it all depends but usually like around 4 or 5 p.m give or take all of a sudden 
all the you know these nice blue skies <clears throat> clear away and it just gets dark black it starts raining and for you know a lot of you guys that follow me all the time especially if you follow me on Instagram you know you guys see the rain and the rainstorms you know I try to film them whenever possible I love them because again that's something that I'm more used to because that's you know the kind of weather that happens here is what it used to happen when I was growing up so you know it cools it down so and all of a sudden you're in June July um, and it starts to cool down which is weird even though it's hot summer so all of a sudden right now as I'm looking at my friends you know in the US or in Europe or whatever a lot of you guys you guys are actually going through more heat than I am and a place like this is actually built for the heat you know what I mean so you know there's all kinds of things to you know help you get through the heat like AC like and shit like that but in a lot of these places you know around the country around the world right now it's just all this crazy heat and there's no relief from that crazy heat so all of a sudden I'm out here in the middle of summer and it's actually cooler than it is wherever the hell you are and uh, you're not in paradise I'll tell you that not everybody but you know so all of a sudden it's not as crazy hot out here as uh, one would originally think so like again right now I'm under the shade it's like cool air like cool air that's uh, hitting me um, it's not like insane amount of heat um, you know most of the heat that's coming at me right now is basically from you know the humidity and so that's that and so like right now it's the end of July we're about to hit August and September which is you know like the end of summer the beginning of fall and as you guys know no matter where the hell you are even in places where you get the leaves changing in snow usually what happens is usually what happens is is that during uh, during these months is actually the worst it's actually the worst uh, months period because of uh you know all the humidity and all that change that happens so yeah sorry I got it. I'm trying to see if I can get past this guy here so so and it's just you know getting it you know the beginning of fall kind of sucks because it's that weird you know time where it's like really really hot but it's not cold enough yet okay so like that whole fucking deal that happens here and then on top of that you know once we get past that then we start you know then we get to the end of fall cool down starts to cool down and then you start hitting winter and it's nice and cool again and that's it you know and again you know cool weather for out here is like 80 degrees 60 at night 65 what more do you want you know what I mean it's, it's freaking awesome so that's the weather all right and I think I went long on that conversation you know I actually wanted to talk about bugs as well when it comes to when it comes to bugs out here man there's a lot of traffic a lot of everything out here today Monday afternoon but anyways so when it comes to like the whole bug situation it all it, man so loud so loud all right let me see if I can got to walk in the middle of the street look at all this traffic here a lot of traffic huh so when it comes to bugs short answer there's a lot of bugs long answer um, there's a lot of bugs and that's the thing you know but it all depends on where you're from and where you've been and, and, you know like the bug situation so like let's say you're coming from like uh, like Seattle or maybe even like LA or something like that you know you come out here and you're, you're in bug city there's bugs everywhere now if you're coming from like I don't know Texas Louisiana um, Florida you come out here eh, sure there's bugs there's bugs there's more bugs back home you know yeah there's scorpions out here yeah there's ants of every kind out here yeah there's flying cockroaches and shit like that but remember I, I've been everywhere so the flying cockroaches in, in Texas are like 10 times as big um, the bug situation is a billion times worse than Florida um, you know and just all these other things so there's a lot of um, it's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to the bug situation now I'm not an entomologist or bugologist or whatever you know I don't have the ability to talk about all the kind of bugs and and you know do pictures and all that shit because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about but what I do know is that I do get bit by flies here all the time and that's just normal you know to any hot weather climate place and especially if it's humid and we're semi close to the jungle not quite the jungle and um, and again just like the area that we're in breeds 
a lot of that. It just does. This is like a very natural thing, you know, to breed uh, bugs in this kind of weather and not in the cold weather. Because I remember one of the first things I, when I noticed when I moved to Seattle was the fact that there weren't any bugs. Not as many as what I was used to. So the thing is that there's a lot of bugs out here, but it's not like a thing where you got to be fucking careful of all these venomous creatures. Like in other parts of the world where they have like venomous cobras and snakes and venomous bugs everywhere and amphibians and, and all this other shit. Disculpa, disculpa, gracias. And, uh, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? So like out here, yeah, they're, they're everywhere and uh, you know, they can, you know, you can get a really bad, nasty bug bite from time to time. But for the most part, it's not, um, it's not as horrible as other parts of the world. It's just, you know, there's bugs out here. What are you gonna do? Shit, I mean, you know, it's just part of uh, being in an environment like this. So, you know, I, 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 with that being said, like I, I, want, I want for you guys to ask me more in-depth questions about the bugs that you guys want me to talk about or what, what more information you want to know about bugs. I'm not a big bug expert. Um, but, yeah, there are bugs. And uh, right now I was just scratching my leg from a, from a bug. But it's not, it's not as horrible as, uh, as, you know, most of you guys think out there. It's just, uh, again, just a normal thing. You're going to see flies of all shapes and sizes. You're going to see scorpions. You know, you're going to see all kinds of shit. But, again, in a place like here in El Centro, where I'm at, the chances of you finding a bug are... Or, I mean, if you finding scorpions or finding like big, nasty fucking things is, is a lot uh, smaller than if you go further out. The further you out you go, um, to the outskirts of the city or to the middle of fucking uh, the jungle or anything like that, uh, then uh, all of a sudden you'll see more bugs. I remember when I used to hang out in some of my friends' houses around the town, around, you know, around the city closer to like the jungle the you know the greenery the the less civilized places yeah man there there was fucking everything out there you know scorpions the size of my hand i saw a fucking uh, a, a tarantula once literally the size of my hand and uh and, you know the only other time i seen tarantulas is when my, my fucking friends had them as pets back in high school so they're out here you just gotta you know not be so scared of them don't be a scaredy cat okay so all right, guys, I think I'm gonna get going because I'm already here. I'm like half a block away. My phone's already buzzing, they're waiting. So yeah, sorry about the camera turning off rudely, as it always does. But um, but yeah, as I was filming, I was real, I was trying to, I was looking at the clock and I was like, damn, this thing hasn't turned off yet. I guess it's not as hot as I, and then bam, it turns off. But anyways, as you guys can see behind me, that's like the blunt store, you know, they got like um, a few accessories that you might be able to check out from there. But right now I'm just waiting on Chris, you know, my girlfriend to show up um, so we can just, you know, hang out for a little bit before we both head home, you know. I go my home, she goes her home. We're just hanging out because we're both in the Centro. Uh, we got to run a few errands together and that's it. Things that we couldn't do yesterday because it was, um, it was, um, whatchamacallit, yeah, I just I realized there's some music there. But yeah, because it was uh, all closed. So right now I'm just out here waiting for her to show up and uh, yeah. I wanted to say, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, and uh, don't forget to stay awesome, and I'll see you guys manana. Thanks again for watching, thanks again for joining me, and uh, hopefully she shows up sooner than later. All right, peace out, guys. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Hey, guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.